Hey you guys, it's Jacksboro 123 and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Last time, we fought Dodo Gama, the best boy, and in today's episode, we were taking on another monster of the Elder's Recess. A monster by the name of Uragon. We've already seen him. Uh, he actually appeared in our Dodo Gama fight. He was a bit of a pain, but you know, not much we can do about that. For today's hunt, we're going to be using the light bow gun because I want to use one of the weapons that we're a little bit better with. And I'm not really prepared to do a video on one of the other ones yet. We are going to be using Chef's Choice just because it's uh, nice, quick, and easy. I am going to be getting food ingredients off cam when I have some spare time. However, I haven't had spare time in quite some bit. Which is why we haven't upgraded our light bow gun or anything yet. Now, our light, we are going to be using the light bow gun, like I said. Uh, it is going to be a pretty good weapon against Ergon. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. So let's find this boyo. There he is, right there. Or eating occupier. We've gotten a report of an unusual, fine monster specimen roaming around. We need to seize on this opportunity so we need you to investigate ASAP we want to head to southern camp one because that's the fastest camp to get the Uragon and we also ate already if I remember correct yes we did so let's go on the hunt so I'll see you guys there okay so here we are outdoors recess once again not the most beautiful map in the world, but you know, it's kind of nice having giant crystals everywhere. Uh, I did pack some pretty nice items for this. We're going to want some energy drinks in case this situation happens. Some large barrel bombs, of course, Mr. Snowman. Uh, Stero jerky and our traps and the usual stuff. Now, we are going to be using the snowman quite a bit during this hunt. What we want to do first is quickly get Uragon's location. So, let's head over here, pick up some cool mushrooms. I do know Uragon doesn't chill down this path, but he does sometimes appear here. Oh, yeah, just like now. You don't usually find Uragon here. Anyways. He just ran off. Okay, th yeah, cool, thanks. Uh, despite not fighting him right now, I'm going to start my little explanation for him. Because that's going to make things easy for me. Okay, so we aren't quite fighting Ergon yet, but this is Ergon. Or Uragon, however you pronounce it. I believe it is Ergon, which we will be calling him throughout this video. His habitats are the Elder's Recess and the Guiding Lands. And his size is, well, you can see there. His monster class is Brute Wyvern, and he has Turf Force with Odo Garon and Ebony Odo Garon. It's kind of interesting because Odo Garon beats Uragon, which I was a little surprised by, but it kind of makes sense with a uh, fact I'm going to say in a bit. He was introduced in Monster Hunter Tri, and his elemental weakness is water, and his elemental resistance is fire. His ailments he can cause are Blast, Sleep, and Stun. And his ailment weaknesses are Poison and Stun. His behavior is aggressive and his title is a Burst Hammer Wyvern, which is a bit of a mouthful. Um, his weak points to attack are the top of his head and his belly. So basically just his head ex except his chin. And then of course the belly is the belly of the beast. Uh, his breakable parts are his chin, body, and his tail is severable. Uh, this doesn't include breakable body parts that don't affect the fight. So the breakable body parts that do not affect the fight are, I believe, his legs and back as well. However, I cannot be certain at this point in time. I will put a little text box saying if they are or not. Um, actually, I do know because we broke one of them in this fight. So yeah, you can break those body parts if you want to. Ergon has multiple unique attack types. He can put the player to sleep by spraying a gas out of his stomach or around his lower parts of the body. He can place small bombs that will explode when attacked or when 
uh, Urgal makes a shockwave. Or he can stun the hunter with a hard hit with his chin, which is the most annoying one. His damage type is physical, blast, and rage, because you will be raging when he daggers you and you just stand there and take an attack to the head. We actually have that happen to us in this hunt. Uh, Ergon is also related to Rattleban, like I said. They both have a very similar fighting style, aka rolling around the battlefield and trying to roll you over. In Area 6, Ergon will roll around the arena and will have a longer rolling time compared to other arenas or areas. Uh, this is a little bit more difficult to notice, but if you just have a way to stagger him, you don't even really notice it at all. Now, while rolling, you can trip Urgomp with a staggering attack, such as Crystal Pod Burst, or Crystal Burst Pods, which can be found around the map that you fight him in. You can also do what I do and place our little sticky bombs on the ground, and when he rolls over them, he, uh, he kind of uh, goes boom. And that usually staggers the monster. It doesn't always, though. Now, something you should watch out for is his jaw slams. They will stagger the hunter and they do a lot of damage if you are hit by it. It will also do multiple chin attacks, so you should keep a distance or stay to the tail or legs. Uh, if you are too close though while attacking the legs, you will still get staggered, but you shouldn't have to worry about getting attacked unless he takes a step back. After his roll, Urgon can smash his chin down right away, and I mean right away. He will roll it then BAM! Just out of the blue. So it's best to stay either behind him or out of his way. Now he can also do this out of a roar, so he can roar at you. While you are staggered from the roar, he can smash his chin on you. Which also isn't fun, so just don't stay to his head unless you're a ranged weapon. Now hitting the exploding rocks will make them detonate. Ergon can also make them detonate via his shockwaves. I find it's really smart during the hunt to just keep destroying the exploding rocks if you're a ranged weapon. Just take one bullet, shoot the rock, the rock will cause a chain explosion, gets rid of all of them if they are close by. You don't have to worry about them anymore. If Ergon makes a shockwave and you're staggered, you don't have to worry about being blown up out of the blue. It's just a nice way of getting uh, out of a tight situation that you could end up in if you do not get rid of them. You can also use rocks and slinger pods to do the same effect. Just get rid of the explosions. It's just really good to do. Anyways, so that's my explanation on Argon. Uh, the best way to fight him if you're a melee weapon is to stay to the back of his legs by the tail. You will also cut off his tail when doing this, so it's a win-win no matter what. You can try and break his chin. I, if you are, I recommend using a hammer or a weapon with a shield, such as greatsword or lance or gun lance or sword and shield or charge blade. The other ones might struggle a bit, though, if you get staggered. Anyways, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's hunt. Also, our light bow gun is ridiculous when it comes to damage with spread shot. That is mostly thanks to the gun we are using. It's designed to use spread shot, but later in the game it kind of gives up on the spread shottiness of it. Uh oh. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. I used my explosions to stagger him a lot of the time. Which is pretty smart to do. Some of the times you will struggle with it. As you see, our Palico right there is stunned. That's not good. That's a Nitro Toad. Who went off at just the right time to cause Ergon to fall over. If you're too close to that attack, you will get uh, staggered. So you want to be a little careful. Nope. That was him going right out of his roll with a straight up uh, head slam or chin smash, whichever you would like to call it. That is another instance of chin slam to death, pretty much.
You want to keep an eye out on where the explosions are. This is an instance where we were too close. Where he can kill us. Okay, he didn't do the attack that could kill us here. Um, we are going quickly retreat a bit. Because we are in kill zone right now. You never want to sit in kill zone. Some monsters can just kill you at any percent, which isn't fun. Uh, but that's depending on your armor rating. Since we're using a light bow gun, we don't have as high of an armor like rating. Or we take more damage. It's not quite our armor that's low. And we can come here. And we turn them twice and we just have them walk a little forward. I don't like using Bonk too much unless we are in Master Rank, which we haven't touched yet. But I do like using it once or twice a hunt. Or once or twice every so often. I don't think we've done it like multiple times in a hunt fully yet. That's an instance where he roars right out of his roll. Or... He chin slams right after his roll. Here's some lava nuggets. That's a mount. Uh, if you saw what I did there is I slid down the hill in order to jump. And then I used my jump attack to mount him. It's pretty smart to do this when you are in high rank and master rank. It's really good for weapons like... Uh, Dual blades and so on. We do want to come to the head because that's his weak point. We didn't quite get the head there. There we go. He's probably in capture range now. Yeah. You don't want to stand too close when he rolls. Anyway, so that's a hunt. We're going to quickly equip this and swap over to our Trank Ammos, because our Trank Ammos are the best ammo. And we just take our Shock Trap right over here. Fighting him in here isn't too fun. He can extend his roll time by hitting the walls. Oh, whoops. Don't do it! Okay, phew. We accidentally threw a uh, Thorn Pod instead of equipping our weapon, which can be a little difficult. Uh, experiment. Let's see here. Okay, so we can just head back to HQ, or the gathering hub, or back to camp. We'll just chill here. And that's our hunt. It went pretty well. No deaths. Only got hit a few times, I think three total. Anyways, we also got some Fusium Ore. Took the fight ten minutes, something... It was a pretty large Ergon. Not quite the biggest they can be. Not the smallest, though. Okay. So that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to hit the like button and comment down below what was your favorite part. In tomorrow's video, we are, will take on Lavisioth, the final monster that we haven't killed yet that we've seen. Besides a uh, certain somebody. But uh, I don't think we got a quest for him yet. Anyways. I'm Jaxpar123. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!